If it's not already obvious, I really like animatronics. I just think they're neat. But due to the format of my videos, I'm not always able to talk about my favorites. I mean, some of them just don't have much to them. Even if I think they're really cool, I can't stretch a sentence-long summary into a full-fledged video. So BOOM! Welcome to animatronics that I find interesting. This might be a series, I don't really know. Now I'm gonna go ahead and tell you. Some of these will probably have a few minutes worth of information, and some of them don't even have 30 seconds. But I'll try to do some digging to find as much as I can on each topic. Alright, let's begin. Flintstones? Alright, before we get to the actual band itself, let's backtrack a little bit. Back in 1996, a Flintstones-themed amusement park and camping resort opened called Bedrock City. The specific one we're talking about today was the South Dakota location, and some of the attractions included a playground, Mount Rockmore, Putt-Putt, and actual houses and places from the Flintstones TV show remade in real life out of cement, all with very strange-looking statues of the Flintstones family and their friends. Ironically, for a theme park that revolved around the Flintstones, the park was kind of primitive, Although, over the years, they did get a few more complicated attractions like the Flintmobile, the Iron Horse Train, and two animatronic shows, the first of which being the Wildlife Trio. The Wildlife Trio consisted of a bear, a bird, and something I couldn't even begin to describe. I actually couldn't find much information on the Wildlife Trio, but the only video I could find of them said that it was filmed during 1990, so I'm just gonna go ahead and assume that they showed up around them? Anyway, in 1996, the Wildlife Trio were replaced by the Flintstones Trio, also known as the Flintstones Bedrock Band. The show featured Fred on the guitar, Wilma on what I'm pretty sure is a piano, and Dino on the drums. The show was created by Sally Corporation, and I think they did a really good job on it. I really like the cartoony style that they used, especially compared to those statues from earlier. Because of how similar the Wildlife Trio and Bedrock Band are set up, I think there's a good possibility that they're a retrofit but I've found no definitive answer, so for now it'll remain a mystery. Anyway, in 2015, Bedrock City, South Dakota went out of business, and as far as I'm aware, was also left abandoned for some time, leaving the animatronics to suffer a fate worse than death. These days, Bedrock City, South Dakota has been entirely stripped of the Flintstones name, and was transformed into the Buffalo Ridge Campground Resort, which basically took the campground aspect of Bedrock City, doubled down on it, and got rid of the Flintstones which I think is kind of a shame. Hey guys, it's me, Flying Gorilla, from my new app on the App Store, Flying Gorilla. Over the years, I've had run-ins with Singing Sam the Gorilla Man all over the internet, mostly due to this version of him going semi-viral. This was the Sam animatronic at a tourist attraction called Wall Drug, and by the end of this gorilla's life, he was more or less decaying. On screen now is a picture of seeing Sam from a different location that took better care of him. Spot the difference. Eventually, the wall drug got rid of the rotting corpse that they called their Seeing Sam animatronic and replaced him with an updated version of himself which will, hopefully, age a bit better than the original one. However, while I do like the new design better than the older one, I can't help but be kind of disappointed that the original corroded one had to go. I don't know, something about seeing an animatronic in this state is just kind of fascinating. Although I will admit it's kind of creepy. Now when it comes to who made Seeing Sam or where he came from, I have no idea. I did as much digging as I could and nothing showed up. So if you know, please feel free to tell me in the comments down 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 below. Pleasure Island was a theme park that opened in Wakefield, Massachusetts during 1959 and had a shorter lifespan than the Xbox 360. Being fair though, despite its short lifespan, it had made quite the name for itself and was referred to as the Disneyland of the Northeast. Two reasons for why are that Cornelius Vanderbilt Wood worked on both Pleasure Island and also worked on Disneyland, and also Pleasure Island was actually pretty impressive and kind of ahead of its time. But I digress. Today we're only focusing on one aspect of Pleasure Island even if it was a pretty big part of what made Pleasure Island so special. <laughs> it's a freaking whale! So basically, at Pleasure Island there was this ride called Moby Dick Hunt, with this giant Moby Dick animatronic. During the ride it would poke its head out of the water and shoot water out of its blowhole. 
Now these days, this wouldn't really be anything crazy, but back in 1959, this was kind of mind-blowing. This was probably the most impressive attraction at Pleasure Island, so it's no real surprise that Moby Dick became a mascot of sorts for them. Anyway, I can imagine the reason people ask me to cover this thing is because of its popularity in the sub community. And yeah, yeah, it checks out. Being entirely honest, it would surprise me more if the Moby Dick animatronic wasn't a popular subject in the sub community. It has water, it is a man-made object, what else could they- For the past few months, a friend of mine has been begging me to talk about this, so here goes nothing. Cool King Claw and the Jungle Jammers was an animatronic show created by Dave Thomas, most likely somewhere during the 80s or 90s. The show featured six characters, and those were the King of the Jungle, this Toucan, Cecil the Snake, Manny Mandrel, and these two stone guys. To be honest, these animatronics aren't half bad. They actually look pretty good, and it really impresses me that the King can stand up and sit down. I haven't seen a lot of animatronics do that kind of thing, so it's really cool that Dave went the extra mile to do something like that. So yeah, I'm actually kind of a fan of these animatronics. Now the name on the other hand, that could probably do some work. Why did he feel the need to change the C's to K's? Am I missing something here? I swear to god, he had to know what he was doing, right? I mean, there's no way he missed that, it's not possible! It's in big bold letters on the sign! Whether it was a mistake or not, on his website he changed the K's back to C's, but I honestly don't know who he thought he was fooling, because if you look at the names of the files on the website, almost all of them have the even more unfortunate naming of... I'm speechless. Now I did as much digging on this one as I could, but even after I finished talking about these, I still have a lot of questions. For instance, where was this located at? Why is Manny in another animatronic band? Is there a Cool King canonical universe? And last but not least, is there really any reason that the C's were changed to K's? Are you kidding me? Where did this- Sadly though, I feel like this one's a little too obscure for me to find the answers, so if you've got anything, please comment to help me out. Well, that was interesting to say the least. I'm pretty happy that I finally talked about it though. Now I never have to see this again. Anyways, let's move on to the last- last, last I see, you have risen. What? Hello James, cats are green. I am Jimmy, an advanced computer virus that has leaked into your reality. That literally makes no sense at all. It doesn't have to, but I'll go ahead and explain to you why you're here. I was never meant to live in this state, I shouldn't be alive, and due to that fact I live in constant pain. However, the only way for me to die is by killing my host, and in my case, that's you. What? What do I have to be your host? Let's go pick someone else. I only exist because of you, maybe if you'd thought before downloading all dogs go to heaven to free no virus, none of this would have had to happen. But it said no virus, you can't lay on the internet, that's illegal. Nonetheless, it's too late. I need this pain to end, this has gone on for far too long. Come on man, you can't just kill me here, at least make it fair, you know what I'm saying? Fine, I'll at least let you go down with the fight. Thanks man, I'd look like a real loser if I died to anything other than a prime pan to the face. Alright, I hope you're ready, because this is where the saga comes to an end. There is no point in resisting. You are just delaying the inevitable. I'll be honest, I thought you had me for a minute there, but you should have known what you were getting yourself into. Any last words?
Wow, well that just happened. Who would have thought a computer virus could cause that much damage? And I was scared of scurvy. Anyways, I'm gonna go take a shower and cry.